Hey kings, queens, and everything in between. Welcome back to another episode one time for a good time. And I'm talking to all the people that are going through it right now. A sister has been scrushed out. Not with a T, but with a K. I've been going through it for this past week. And it just made me sit down and think about all the people in, in, in just society that go through life every day with this pent up anxiety. And them not showing it to anybody or handling it so well so many people handle this situation differently you know there's people that can be stressed out of their mind and you would never see it on their face or you would never assume unless they told you and then there's other people like me where it's like if I have any type of like discomfort or anxiety in my life like I just can't handle it well. Like it gets to the point where I can't work. I want to cry. I feel unmotivated. I feel like everything I'm doing is not good. And as my life is changing right now and I'm doing so many projects and I'm trying to be the entrepreneur I am, I'm realizing that this stress is going to be with me for a very long time. And, And also it's inevitable. Like even once I get a get rid of it it's going to stay with me for the rest of my life just like mental illness just like people just like situations and scenarios it's going to be with you and all you can do is make space for it make room for it but you can't get rid of it and so I had to sit down with myself and say why is it that I can't function under high stress situations why is it that I break down when something isn't going right. And I realized growing up, I was always taught, if you avoid stress, you won't be stressed. And if you are stressed, just work through it until you aren't stressed anymore. And I realized this was a toxic mentality to have because the moment I am in stress, I completely dysfunction. I completely start disregarding myself questioning myself feeling bad about myself and not being able to be productive at all to the point where you know I might be laying in bed just so I can cool down um I've been working working out a lot lately and I've been over stressing myself over stressing my body in the gym because I want to get this energy out and I was never taught how to properly function multiple tasks at a time And it just made me think about all the people in in society that just go through this. And regardless if it's work, finding a job, family, you know, sexuality, hell, just being a human, life is stressful. It really is. And going through that, you can feel very alone and isolated. You know, this past week, I've been sitting here just thinking like, Am I ever going to get it right? Am I ever going to get past this? Am I doing what I'm supposed to do? You know, is the work I'm doing good? You know, with this, I'm constantly self-sabotaging myself. You know, I wake up with great ideas or things I need to do. And because I have so much anxiety, I'm laying in bed all day you know, scrolling through Instagram or something because I'm, I just can't do this big project that I want to do. And I realize a lot of people do that. A lot of people get to the peak in their lives where they have all this potential and they have all these things they need to do or find, or they need to find something within themselves or communicate or whatever. And they get to this point where it's like time to open the door and it's time to look inside to see what your prize is. And you're stuck there fumbling with the keys, trying to find the right key, trying to even see if it's the right address instead of just opening the door and going in. You know, with me, mental health is really big. So the reason I can't function with stress is because I constantly have this fear in the back of my mind that This is going to be the thing that tears me down. This is going to be the thing that puts me out of the ring and take me out of the game because I let it take over me. And so there's this fear that I'm going to spiral back into depression if I stay in this mental state for too long. 
you know, I'm not going to be able to get back on my A game if I stay in this mental state too long. And it's sad that we have to go through this as humans, because if you know, you know, it could cause heart disease, it can cause high blood pressure, it can cause all these bad things to your body. But we just go through it every day like it's another cart in the milk. And I wish I could sit here and tell you like how to get through it and what to do. But me personally, I feel like I don't even know how to get through it myself. Like I'm using this time as trial and error to figure out what works best for me to figure out how to take self days and you know to work during certain periods of times and not others but I still find myself in situations where I'm struggling where I'm still trying to fight through this this wall of anxiety to win it's like this constant ongoing battle with myself how are you going to win how are you going to get through this how are you going to make it to the top while also trying not to crumble mentally. It's it's mentally exhausting. So many people out there in the world go through this every day, regardless if it's their career or whatever. They're constantly fighting with themselves to be better. And for the people that don't fight to be better, they're fighting to see how far they can knock themselves down. How f- much can I degrade you how much can I self-deprecate how much can I be insecure before I just mentally snap and turn into something that I don't want to be I feel like for me stress and anxiety comes in the times of my life where I need to grow it comes in the times of my life when I need to hop out of my comfort zone right now I'm in a situation where I need to hop out my comfort zone real quick and it's at the door It's like the devil's at the door and it's just knocking. It's like, you're going to let me in. You're going to let me in because you're about to grow in your life and you're about to have something exciting happen to you. But I need to come in and make that not happen. And it's like a bittersweet thing because it's like, I'm happy that I know that I am growing as a human, but why is it that I have to self-sabotage myself to even see my growth? Why is it that I have to fight and go through these obstacles just to know that I'm going to win? That is what stress is doing to me right now for this past week is punching me in the face so I can just turn back and not be the person who I want to be. And I want it to stop. Like I, I want it, I want to grow out of this. I want to be able to let it still live in my life and give it, give it its room it needs to survive. But I can't have this thing take me out. I can't have the feeling of not being worthy, the feeling of questioning if everything I'm doing is right, stay in my heart. I need to see my true worth. I need to see who I'm going to be. And how I'm going to be that. And this anxiety is just playing with me right now. And I hope that anybody out there that is going through stress currently or ever going through stress, you're going to get through it. You know, it's hard and it's a pain in the ass to have. But maybe we go through these these trials and tribulations in our lives to see how strong we are to see if we can even get through it you know I know back in the day there's no way I could be doing the things I'm doing now there's no way I could be tackling the situations and the projects and the work I'm doing now but I'm growing and I'm seeing this stress that I have currently as a way this, as the universe saying, how far can you go? Are you willing to continue even if I'm standing here in front of you? Are you willing to run through me to get to what you want? So I ask you, are you willing to hang on a little bit longer to see what's behind the door? To actually see your true potential? Because that's all stress is. That's all anxiety is. It's a thing to keep you back 
from doing what you want. Same with a comfort zone. It's a, a place you have to be complacent so you don't have to keep growing in life. That's all it is. It's your mind is telling you, you can't be this, you can't do this, or you shouldn't do this, or don't go here, or don't do this. But it's like, you have to do this for yourself. You understand what I'm saying? If I, if you don't take the extra steps and precautions to get around the thing that is holding you back, which is yourself, then how will you ever know if you can do something? Like the reason I feel like I'm so powerful right now in my life is because I know that the only person that can get in my way is me and I'm not getting in my way. You know what I'm saying? Because I I have shit I need to do. I have people I need to take care of. I have things I need to get out into this world. So even though I am in a current state of mind of being stressed out and anxiety ridden, I know that I can't have this take me out because I have so many things I need to do for the culture. And going through this little obstacle is is not going to stop my journey. And I sure hope it doesn't stop yours. Thank you guys for listening to that rant. I kind of needed to get that off my chest. Um, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.